Hey guys, this is Scott with Revolution Self-Defense. I'm in the studio with my man Luis. We're getting ready for the Naga tournament next weekend. Luis just turned 18, so he's going to be competing in the Adults Blue Belt Division. My man Luke, who's holding the camera right now, he'll also be competing for us. Uh, as you can see, I'm just a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I've been doing it a lot of years, but I'm just a purple belt. But the nice thing about the Immortal BJJ system, which we are a member of, is that we impart very good technical details to our fighters so that even my guys can do very well in competition. We've been winning gold medals and silver medals in competition since the very first competition we've ever gone to. So, real proud of that. Now, we're going to talk about a way to isolate his arm from side control that can be used for Jiu-Jitsu, MMA, or for self-defense. So, Luis is going to be on his back. We're going to show you two angles of this. Now, as I have scarf, or rather, side control, I'm laying heavy on Luis's chest, my body's down, my right hand is underhooking his left arm, but Luis is doing a good job of protecting himself. These arms are tucked in so I can't attack them easily. So I'm going to utilize his proper training and make sure, I'm going to exploit or bait him into making a mistake, which wouldn't be a mistake typically, but I'm going to be thinking a step ahead. So I'm going to fake like I'm making a mistake. I'm going to just get greedy and go to, try to go to knee on belly. Now, since Luis has his arm in play, he's going to immediately take this left arm, or rather, yeah, his right arm and his right knee together to block that path. And that's what I want. So, I'm going to open up my grips. I start to press up to give him a little bit of space. I go for my knee on belly, and now I'm going to turn my knee towards his, my right knee is turning towards his right shoulder as I kind of baseball slide heavy back on top of him. And I'm going to lay onto his arm. I've got my body, I went back to my underhook, and I've got my body laying on Luis. Now, I know where his hand is. Unless he's Mr. Fantastic or an X-Man or something, he's going to have a hand at the bottom of that arm. So I'm going to take my left leg and I'm going to step on his wrist and I don't need to look at it. I'm going to keep my weight heavy. I look this way, I'm going to take my weight off him. So I lay heavy, step on his wrist. Now I'm going to post on my right elbow and my left leg so I can lift my hips off the ground and I start to rotate my body. My knee, right knee is going to stay in place as I windshield wiper my left leg over his arm, kick my left leg out for stability and I lay heavy on his arm. Right now my shin is draped across his bicep and it's crushing his arm. Now in MMA we can attack the head, we have this arm that we can attack, we can start setting up chokes. His right arm right now is totally out of play and he can't use it to protect himself. Now from this angle, so you can see the leg work on the opposite side, we saw what I did to keep my body heavy on him, now we need to see what happens with the leg work. So I've got my side control, I'm nice and heavy, I feign like I'm going for knee on belly, he brings his knee and his elbow in and that's when I start to turn and baseball slide my left leg, in this case, over his arm. I've got my far side underhook, so I'm not getting headlock, giving him a headlock. Laying heavy on this arm right now. Still looking at his head. Lift my right foot up. Step on his wrist. Push on my right foot and turn. I'm going to bring this left foot in. Drape my shin across his arm. Kick my leg out for stability. And we've got him in control. So that's one way we can isolate that arm and start to move forward to apply our jiu-jitsu. I mentioned before that underhook is extremely important. We don't want to headlock our opponent. Um, if you're a white belt in jiu-jitsu just starting, learn some good headlock escapes because at your level, guys will headlock you. But technically that's a mistake because you'll get your back taken. Once you get, what, even as a white belt, you don't want to headlock folks. You want to get that far underhook so they can't take your back. Once you get that position, we can start setting up things where we can isolate that arm. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, check us out at the web, www.revolutionselfdefense.com. Check out our Facebook page or our videos on YouTube. Keep training. Thanks.